Hello and welcome to another Bad Comic Review. This time we are looking at Action Comics 999. This is written by Dan Jurgens with art by Will Conrad, color by Ivan Nunez, letters by Rob Lay, the cover was by Brett Booth, Norm Rapmund, Andrew Dalhouse. This issue is kind of a strange one because it's got a little bit of action, but it's not really an action issue. It's mostly just about Lois talking to her dad about various things that they disagreed with over the years, and John's trying to keep them from fighting but it's not really working there is a lot of dialogue in this but it's very plot driven lois is trying to air out her grievances with her dad and it's not really working superman's up in space getting some rare crystal from an asteroid it leaves lois to deal with her dad and his stubbornness they're both very stubborn people well eventually superman goes back to the fortress of solitude and he's having second thoughts about entrapping cyborg superman in the phantom zone so he builds this cage sort of like a little studio apartment kind of thing for cyborg superman to live in and it's going to keep him from going insane in the phantom zone and he's hoping to rehab cyborg superman well of course that's probably gonna backfire on him later because some future writer will want to make cyborg superman psychotic again but superman is hopeful that he can rehab him and he doesn't want to he wants to give him a second chance effectively even though he's killed millions of people well then clark shows up at the house tries to talk to Sam Lane and become a little friendlier and it has a really goofy ending. I thought it was a little cheesy of an issue. Overall I get what they're going for here but it didn't really work for me. It was an okay issue but the end was very, felt very rushed and forcefully wrapped up. So the story with Cyborg Superman was actually more interesting for me than the rest of it. The whole thing with Sam and Lois could have been kind of hammered out in a much shorter period. It's worth getting if you want to end cap the Dan Jurgens run but I think there this one is pretty forgettable and I didn't much care for the art the artist is uh he really goes back and forth the parts where Superman's in space look really cool the colorist did a great job on that there's some really cool digital skylines and the crystals look really cool so props to the colorist for that the artist and the colorist worked really well on Superman but when it came to Clark Kent it looks like garbage the scenes with Sam and Lois were pretty good the first page with Jonathan he looks like he's got down syndrome so it's a little weirded out by that because his face consistently changes throughout the issue and I at first like didn't recognize that it was the same kid until they would like say his name and I had to be reminded but the scenes in the fortress of solitude were great so everything with Superman was really well done and cyborg Superman looked really cool so Will Conrad did good with a lot of it but not with others he really needs to work on faces especially the mouth area i think he could be really good if he would get that down because it's usually the the mouth doesn't look like it fits the face like it looks like a creepy horror movie look but other times he nails it like sam looks really good through almost the entire issue but john doesn't and angles when he's at an under angle like you're looking up at someone he doesn't do the chin well everybody looks like they got the turkey gobbler so i would work on that if i was him but i'm not an artist cyborg superman looked really cool though and like i said the coloring is really what and shading really kind of tied this one together for me so if you're gonna get this issue don't pay more than like a buck 50 for it. it it wasn't worth the cover price and the cover scene doesn't even happen anywhere in the issue ever and i hate the cover i think it looks like trash it looks like superman's having like a tantrum or maybe he's got a poop really bad actually the worst art of the whole book is the cover but otherwise pretty decent issue just not really much to it the story with cyber Cyborg Superman uh, possibly being rehabbed was actually the most interesting aspect and that was worth a buck buck and a half to me the rest of it was kind of just filler but that'll do it for me as always thanks for listening if you like the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing so you don't miss any future reviews and we hope to see you on the next one